Hola, party people. Welcome to Came at Home. I'm totally, completely, and utterly excited about today's video. I'm going to be reviewing a Redmond mixer and my mom is about to come over and throw down in my kitchen. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I'm Kim, K-Y-M. I love to create content pertaining to home life, cooking, cleaning, doing DIYs, that sort of thing. And along the way, I love to give you tips on how to keep your house tidy. Before you leave out, please do not forget to hit that red subscribe button and also show the like button some love as well. There are a few things that I needed to tidy up in the kitchen prior to my mom getting here, just so that everything is clean when she goes to prepare the dessert. How's everyone doing today? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you are out here living your best life. I hope you are loving yourself and I hope you're being kind to yourself and others. We live in a sick world where people are just rude for no reason, so we really should spread kindness. Make sure that you wash your gloves off once you actually clean out your sink or wash your dishes or whatever, just so they don't have any kind of bacteria on them. This is not Method, this is the Mr. Clean Yellow Disinfectant. Method has great spray bottles. They should just sell spray bottles. I mean, they'd get a lot of money because like these spray bottles that they have in Lowe's and Home Depot, they ain't it, okay? Not at all. so excited because I am doing another Redmond review. Look at this beauty right here. How lovely is that? Listen, Redmond has some amazing appliances and also they're so colorful and so pretty. So they're very aesthetically pleasing. So let me show you all of the information that I have. First of all, here's the manual. It tells you what everything is, what it's used for and all that great stuff. Here's a measuring cup. I think it's so amazing that they included this. You guys, look how pretty she is. What should we name her? Leave a comment down below. And of course, we have our lovely beaters. We have a whisk. Don't forget to leave a comment down below to let me know what we should name her because she is so pretty. So again, here is our owner's manual. And let me just tell you guys something. If you've been here for a while, you know I never give proper names for anything. So here are all the proper names. So these are dough hooks. This I called a wisp. They called it a balloon. This right here is multifunctional, which I think is amazing. It is called storage in the owner's manual, but there's also measuring cups with it. So that's pretty dope. And it's wet because I always wash things prior to use. Great. Here are the items that we will be using today to make the cake. We have unsalted butter. We also have our sugar, organic brown eggs. We have lemon and vanilla extract. And we also have the cake flour, 7-Up. We have some vegetable oil by Crisco. This is a cake bunt pan. We have a lemon, we have powdered sugar, a huge bowl from 1952 and a sifter from 1972. <laughs> Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think we are making. All of the Redmond products has great packaging and is packaged so tightly. Let the baking prep begin. So the first thing that we're gonna mix up is the Swan's cake flour. We need three cups. My mom is gonna hook this up for me and I'll let her tell you why she likes the Swan's cake flour the best. It's been around since 1894 and it's just good. And I sift it three times. You can make these cakes using regular flour. The unsalted butter, it has to be room temperature and we are gonna use three sticks. The recipe is so easy because it's almost like three of everything. You have three sticks of butter, you have three cups of granulated sugar, sugar six eggs, you have vanilla extract and lemon extract to your taste. Everything has to be precise when you're measuring while baking. Our handy dandy storage, and it's so easy to pour right into the bowl that we are using to make the cake. How about that? Let the sifting begin. This needs to be sifted three times, so she's gonna put the flour back into this cup right here and then re-put it back into the sifter. You'll just see, okay? Just follow suit, follow the video. <laughs> the flour was placed back into there for measuring purposes. Like those eggs 
were five dollars. The box of cake mix was almost five dollars. The sugar that was almost five dollars too. But you know, a lot of ingredients you already have in your house. Yeah. You know, if you buy Crisco now, that uh, container of Crisco is almost five dollars. It's four four forty nine or. Okay, so my mom just told me, I was asking her, do you take the white thing out of the egg? I take out the white snot <laughs> out of the egg. And she said a lot of times the brown eggs don't have the white snot on it, so we are going to see. So we'll get a fork to take that one out of there. And I got a piece of shell, so you can take <laughs> the shell. Oh, great and, tip. Yeah, and get that out. Oh, you took the snot out like that? Oh, snap, my mama just taught me some, y'all. So the next step is to cream the butter, add the sugar. That's not sugar, Kim, that's flour. Here's the sugar. <laughs> One, let's use two table, tablespoons. Yeah. Now this is the lemon and I'm gonna use one, two, I'm gonna use three tablespoons. Make one for the right price. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I'm not shipping anything out of two different towns or anything, but if you're in, you live in Columbus. Or anywhere in Ohio that you're willing to travel, <laughs> I can meet you somewhere in public with my bodyguard husband okay. saying, we're they're not, not traveling to my house either. I can meet yeah. them in public. We're not traveling and we're not mailing. <laughs> so now we're gonna put in the beaters. Handy dandy Redmond mixer. Redmond always has the plug protector on their products, which I absolutely love. It's just basically for safety. You can actually keep this too when you like store it. It's just a good thing to keep. The final consensus is four out of the six eggs had the white snot. Yuck. It didn't splash. When she turned it off, it didn't splash. And normally with the ones that she has used, and believe me, my mom's a pro. She uses mixers all the time. She said they normally splash when she turns them off and like lifts them up. And, and they always take the dough like way up to here. Yeah. On it, you know? It didn't even take long for it to smooth out at all. No. And a lot of mixers, you know, they take a long time. There is Karia. You know she always being a Miss Beautiful Assistant over here. Y'all should have seen her ripping the runway last night. Three fourths cups of seven up. Ooh, here comes the seven up, y'all. Seven up pound cake. When it sizzles, you know it's gonna work. Absolutely. I really, really like this mixer. So the next person who will be using it is Karia. <laughs> Mom said don't over mix it. And also, we didn't even have to mix it very long at all because that that mixer on, it was just on the power one, right? Mm -hmm. And it mixed so well. My oldest daughter likes to bake, so we use all of the spray. That's why we are going to um, rub the pan with the vegetable oils. Also, sprinkle a little bit of the flour onto the pan. Make sure that you have it all over in the middle, all over the little nooks and crannies. Be sure to coat it evenly and very well. Shake, 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 shake your booty. Shake it like a salt shaker, whoop, whoop. Okay, so we're gonna bake this at 350 for, depending on your oven, one hour, sometimes one hour and 15 minutes. You know, your brown, your top is gonna get brown. And sometimes your cake will crack and that's okay. It's gonna crack around right here. And that's fine because it's a pound cake and a pound cake is supposed to crack. So now we gotta put this on the middle rack. You do not need to preheat the oven. Here's what my kitchen's looking like, everyone. <laughs> it's driving my mom and I crazy, but I had to take a break to eat because I was starving. My mom is the person who taught me how to cook and clean at the same time. So it was like killing her not to wipe the table off and do the dishes. Now that we broke in and used the mixer several times, it is the bomb. You don't have to put it on a high setting at all. Everything gets mixed up very well, blended very well. A lot of other mixers are heavy. This is very lightweight. I told her not to be over here doing no dishes. This mixer is definitely of great quality. As a matter of fact, all of the small appliances that I have from Redmond are of great quality, easy to use, and packaged well. 
I will leave a link to the Redmond mixer down in my description box. Please check them out. It would be a great gift for someone for their birthday or Christmas because Christmas is coming up too. It's right around the corner. I did wipe off the table with two different cleaners. The first one was the Method Degreaser All-Purpose Cleaner, and then the second one was vinegar because I love to clean with vinegar. I'm laying down at the compartment. Oh no, I see you only when you're balling. Oh no, I don't even care. I want to read something to you from Mindset of Greatness. It says, when you love yourself, you glow from the inside. You attract people who love, respect, and appreciate your energy. Everything starts with you and how you will feel about yourself. Start feeling worthy, valuable, and deserving of receiving the best life has to offer. Be magnetic. That was just so amazing, like for real. Let me know if that resonated with you. I can seem to move this thing. You're pulling me out in the right like on the sideline where you wanted me. I'm by the byway waiting for you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you decide to make this dessert, please let me know and let me know how it turned out. But I can't help to fall for you repeatedly. I don't want to seem to shake Oh no. Like I'm sudden but I stay. Oh no. And they tell me to move on because I deserve more. Nice and clean. All the dishes are put away with an exception of this because I like to let that air dry so it doesn't mildew. My gloves have to dry. The cake is done, but this is how we make the icing with the powdered sugar and the lemon. Here we go. That's the toothpick that we um, used to make sure that the cake was done all the way. But when my mom was talking about the crack, this is what she was talking about and that is supposed to happen. And that is beautiful. I'm just saying. I cannot wait to eat it. So the long toothpick is like multifunctional. The other clip that it will be used in is to poke holes into the cake so that when the icing goes on top, it will just like, you know, seep through and just be all delicious. Oh, Ooh, this cake looks so good. And I'm gonna have my sister try it and my daughter try it. And I'm gonna try like four pieces. <laughs> This is my sister. You guys saw her on one of my last videos. And please tell me how you like the lemon 7-Up Pound Cake. This is delicious. It's a family recipe, so yeah. I've had it my whole life. But every it's time just she moist. makes it, even if I'm on a diet, I'm eating it. <laughs> this is my oldest daughter, Bree. Everybody knows who she is. And if you don't, that's her. Mm -hmm. So what do you think of the cake, ma'am? It's mm -hmm. always good. Yeah, the bomb, right? Really, really moist. Mm -hmm. Thank you again for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.